Welcome back, guys. We are here on the... What is this? The fourth? Wait. Yeah, I think this is the fourth episode of... Settlement Tours. Crib Tours. MTV, welcome to my crib. I have not said that for such a long time, and I... I missed it. I mean, I never said it, is what I'm trying to say. Now this, as you can see here, this is the mortar. So, you know, I can fire dead bodies over there. Get rid of them. Now, over here, the first thing we've got is this decontamination thing. Because when you enter a settlement, when you enter this settlement specifically, I don't want your radiation sickness to get all over the place. This is where my skyscraper is. This is where Blasman Inc.'s headquarters is. So, therefore, it needs to be clean. This is where my entire business is, uh... You know, this is just where it all runs from. This is how I get the caps. Now over here, we've got the restroom and shower house. Now this is more of a public restroom, so it, you know, it's it's it, you know for for the workers traveling. You know, they got a nice toilet, they got a nice sink, and they, you know they probably stink, so they need a shower. Huh? So he's totally decked out. He's got the Minutemen blue combat armor on. He's got a nice Volt Tech backpack from that one mod. Uh, Link, uh, not Link. I, I always say Link, but I don't mean Link. I mean, the mod names themselves will be in the description. So, you know, he's got a nice, he's got the, I think this is from the Disciples from Nuka World. After I had slaughtered them, mowed them all down with this AK right here. You know, there's a lot of free armor. So, you know, he got hooked up with some sweet-ass bullet huh? kind of deal on the side there. And then his undercoat is a Minuteman retexture. Now over here, we have the bar. As you can see, it is now morning. I had made it morning, because I only wanted it night to show all the cool lights and stuff. So right here, we've got the bar, and at the end of the day, all the workers come here, they sit down over there, or over here, or maybe at these tables. They just have a nice drink, you know, they talk to Ernesto over here. Check it out. This guy's pretty cool. Uh, there's this chick too. I guess there's two trade routes. That would make sense, yes, there is two traders. There's the trader from Red Rocket Medicals, and there's the trader that's going over to next week's episode, actually. Speaking of next week's episode, I mean, speaking of just episodes in general, if you had noticed, I had skipped Abernathy Farm, and that's only because there's really nothing to show there. All I did was add a huge wall, expand the farm a bit, and then add a little cabin in the corner for some Minutemen guards. Now over here, we've got a nice little, uh, kind of like a, like a supermarket kind of uh, clothing store, you know. Pay attention to this greaser jacket that'll come in relevance in a, when I go show the weapon shop. So over here we just got some nice suits. We got, uh, I guess you could, you, I like to imagine this being, you know, Bing Crosby himself, you know, like a, a mannequin version of him and, uh, um, you know, some famous singer from the 40s. Yeah, we'll go with that. Um, so, you know, we got that general. I put Lost the general uh, store clerk in like a more of a, you know, like a scavenger type outfit. Like she gets her own stuff. And then over here we got the clothing store. We got he's got a nice uh, picnic style. Uh, I remember plaid the last time I had clean shirt, fingernails. Which I really enjoyed. You know, we got some Minutemen propaganda here. It's pretty nice. 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. Let's take a moment to do a dramatic look over. There's a nice Minutemen statue. If you can tell, there's little lights going upon it, and there's just a flag next to him. Here we just got you know the stocks and the, this is this lights up the alleyway at night and we you know right here we've got some more propaganda some kind of posters you know uh, red menace boop boop and you know enlist this is supposed to be you know enlist in the Minutemen but, you know and you know so over here we've got the nice gun store this is one of my favorite rooms in the oh that's a glitch this is one of my favorite rooms in the settlement just because I like the wall with the American flag and the guns looks very American uh, there's this guy. He's, he's, uh, you know, he's, he's got the full stocked out store. He's got a nice high-speed shredding machine gun here. He's got two different things. And, well, that was annoying. There was just a little, uh, you know, annoying fallout glitch. But what was the fallout glitch? Yes, this is where that greaser jacket comes into play. Behind me, we have the one, the only. Hope you ain't one of them since here to spy on me. Yes, that is Lucille. Negan's bat from The Walking Dead. I don't know what you want to say about him. 
He's a good character, but a horrible person. Alright, moving on over here. We've got the, um, we got the armor store. You know, I just got some basic displays, you know, an armor weapons factory thing. Some baseball posters, because it is Boston. And, you know, I just got some cool disciples armor head things, helmets. There's, you know, there's a Minutemen, another Minutemen here selling armor. Now over here, we've got the full stocked farm. I'm going to start doing this now whenever I show off farms, like I did in the last episode. But I'm just going to do, like, an overview. So you can, you can really see all the different fruits, different plants growing. You can see the people hard at work. Make a nice overview of this. Now over here, we've got just... This is all I did was just touch up the... Uh, you know, the workshop room, I just added some, uh, static loot that can be used as storage chests, actually, which is pretty cool from do-it-yourself. Now over here, we've got the nice medical facility type thing. Oh yeah, I forgot to show off, this is Piper's armor. It's got the Miniman paint job, and there's a texture glitch there, but okay. So, let's move in here. You know, we've got all, the, we've got all these doctors, we've got... A barber shop, actually, is a little surprise. Uh, so you can get your hair cut in my city. Trouble, here hope. we got a surgery chair, we got some medical supplies, and we got two sick beds. And there's also a wheelchair right there. Um, yeah. And, you know, over here on the shelf, not only are there medical supplies, there's some, like, books. They're supposed to be, you know, like, medical books. I'm going to study. Um, I'm just going to show this for a couple seconds so you can get a nice view of everything. Now, on to over here, there's a lot of skeletons that were found. Um, that I had scrapped. Well, I mean, no, pff, what am I saying? I didn't scrap them. What? I buried them. So, you know, there's a, there a lot of skeletons that were just kind of found in the settlement, so I made them nice little graves like I did at Spectacle Island. Little graves that I gave them, yes. And, you know, you can see there's a lot of solar panels because solar panels are cool. Okay, now over here, I got a lot of coffins stacked up because giving as uh, the amount of people that I assume die in the Commonwealth daily, they'd want to they'd wanna bury their dead. So where do they go? They go to the, the, the greatest city in all the Commonwealth. Not Boston, but Starlight City. Now, over here, this is just, you know, this is a little town square. It's got a ton of water purifiers, because that, apparently that's a, that's a lake that can give enough water to my entire city. I really enjoy this. I mean, it's really simple. I, I, I actually I made this um, part of the base game too. It's pretty cool. Pretty the part of the vanilla game. So you know, it's, I just really enjoy it. It's very simple, but it like speaks a lot. Now over here, this is like an apartment building. Uh, so you know, we got some institute um, benches, which it does fit in the lore as. Since I am director, I can put them there. And over here, we got like a mass dining area. You know, this is where all the families come in. They just have a nice big cookout. Sure, why not? Over here, we've got all the beds. There's like miles. miles There's just a ton of bunk beds that, you know, line the walls. There's nice carpets on each side. Over here, we've just got a huge uh, front porch overviewing my tower there. Uh, there's a fire escape off the side. It works as doubles as a fire escape and a um, just a, a way for the settlers to get here because settlers can actually use uh, the elevators. Now moving on upstairs, this is where the you know the um, oh, what do you call like a guy that runs an apartment? Wh whatever the name of that guy is, this is his private office. He's got. You know, he's got, this is where you come to register for your house, or your, your room, your bed, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you know, I just decorated him with some, you know, there's some propaganda, there's a really nice, um, cowboy outfit. Uh, over here, we got, a, he's got a nice Minutemen flag, you know, a little, uh, one of those things. Over here, we got Porter Gage's armor from Nuka World. That guy died quick. Or some more propaganda, some cool, um... Other posters over there. He's got a, he's got a, this is his bedroom too, so he's got a nice master bed. He's got a beautiful dresser. He's got some silver shroud stuff. Another American flag. Nice nice uh, seductive couch, I guess you could call that. Nice historical photo. Some more silver shroud stuff. And another historical photo. Let's get a nice view. So this view is like the other view, but you know, raised slightly. So he's got a really nice view. You know, is that Corvega over there? I believe in Concord. 
There's some nice views of the city over there. It's nice. You know. Here we are over here. This is the barn house. Now the barn house is supposed to be the work for all the farmers over there. And you know, maybe maybe our awesome guard over here, because he needs a nice house too. So you know right here we just got one of those working out horse houses from CWSS Redux. And right here it's really nice. I just kinda touched it up with some fixed amenities. Fixed amenities? Fi modern Modern's not really because modern's not just, you know, some pre-war amenities. Makes it nice. There's a nice full-on dining area. He's got a lot of books. He's got a full working kitchen. You know, all the alcohol and drugs. Drugs? Alcohol and new cola. This, this sink actually provides... Uh, oh, I can drink from it, too. It provides water to the settlement. You know, in the fridge, we got some leftover cake. And there's a roast. A frozen in time picture. What a nice paintings. Oh look, Piper's having a nice dinner over there by herself. Or is it breakfast? Okay, whatever. I added this nice little sink because it, there, you know, there was that outhouse, so I assumed there could be a nice sink with the nice ones. And you know, there's one of those fireplaces, which I guess you can say I just took from Sanctuary. Now, over here, this is just you know the bedroom. It's just stacked to the brim with beds. There's a carpet under each bed. Uh, it does look like it'd be really cold up here. But, you know, who knows? Maybe in an apocalypse it would be warm in New England. But, you know, I doubt it. I added this nice little railing, too. The funny thing is the description says that you don't fall to your death, which is exactly why I put them here, so you don't roll out of bed. I mean, I guess that guy could still die. But, you know. We have the Franklin Honorable... The, the, the Franklin Memorial Basketball Court. Franklin... Because there's this kid who was in my science class, and you know, his last name is Frank, and he liked basketball. I just came up with that name just now. Don't shut up. So now, alright, the moment you've been waiting for the Blasman Tower. This is where my business, the business that was at the, um, if you remember from my, uh, my Spectacle Island video, my first settlement tour, uh, there was that huge, um, huge factory, and this is just where. Uh, I sell all that. Now right here we got the front desk. We got no skeleton because I removed that. We got the glitched elevator, so we're gonna do it a cooler way. All right, now first off, right here is just the nice uh, dining, you know, um, office buildings. They have like the big cafeterias. Or actually, I don't know if office buildings themselves, but just businesses themselves have a big cafeteria area. So you know, we've got uh, synth food synth. Synthicator, synthicator, sure. Um, which I guess it could just picture it like uh, you know, in the back of the institute. There's just one of these that was out of commission, so you know, I fixed it up and brought it here because the institute definitely wasn't using it. We got a bar, we got a nice cooking station here. It's a nice one of these uh, shelves, just absolutely stocked. And yes, there is beer because it's the it's 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 a post-apocalyptic world. Do you think I'm really gonna care if my workers are drunk? Moving on, this is a tiny scale replica of Dunder Mifflin from the show The Office. Over here we've got Pam's desk, and you know, all the desks are arranged in the way that they are in the show, but they're all close together, and there's a water cooler here. They're the only thing on the desk are the filing things, because uh, and picture it like, imagine it to be like no one has bought in The Office yet, and the only thing we supply are these file trays in the front desk thing area. And over here we got Michael's office. It's got a shelf and a nice painting. Nice rug too. All right, next on the elevator, the games room. Every office needs a needs a break room. You get your tokens here. You can play the slots. You come over here. You can play Wackakami. There's some nice Nuka Cola cutouts. You can play skis balls, and you, know, you can play um, the basketball game. It's a hand grenade. Cool. I didn't even notice that. Now we this is where, you know, the, the the elevator shift on because, you know, this can only go up to four floors. And then, you know, then, then it splits off into two elevators to go to the next part of the floors. Uh there's a bit of a there's a nice just view here and there's like you know, you can see the architecture of the building. Now onto the second floor. This this is where all the nitty gritty work is. This is where all my workers come, they write down everyone's orders, they file through them, you know, they, they gotta they gotta 
they gotta write the amount of um, they have to write who gets what's what settlements are getting what supplies who what normal people are getting what supplies if Diamond City's buying you know the the price the amount of caps we're gonna get off of it everything I haven't done one of these, you know, on a side view. Okay, now, this is my favorite room in the office here. Favorite floor. This is, so, you know, this, you got, this is the conference room, you know. This is where I talk to my lead executives. Uh, there's a projector here in case I need to project something. And over here, this is where all the marketing is done. You know, there's a, there's a big satellite dish on the top. And this is like, you know, this is where I advertise everything. I got a mixer table, I got a ham radio to talk to settlements and stuff. There's a couple, there's two different mics. Because you never know when you need more than one mic, am I right? Over here we got a water cooler, there's some nice solar panel, don't think about it too hard. Uh, we got a bulletin board, this is like a PA system so I can talk to um, the building. And there's a nice map of the Commonwealth that's found in, um, I think, I believe it's found in the ERS, ER, ESRB section of uh, the Institute. kind of hard to see it, but, you know, that's the Commonwealth. And there's just some cameras on the ceiling here. Now, over here, we just got some more switches and stuff. You know, this is my command center for my entire business, you know. So I, I assume these switches do something. And there's a ton of files over here. You know, they're going through them. So, you know, uh, speaking of which, you can assume that maybe 3 Dog himself is my radio broadcaster. Now, you could say that doesn't fit in with the lore. 3 Dog's not in Fallout 4, and that is true. But, with the Old World Tunes mod, he does make a couple cameos. Eric Todd Dellums himself comes in, makes a couple cameos. So now, we move on to... Okay, my CEO's office. It is not the best CEO's office. Frankly, it's very plain. But, I'm not here at all. Really? If you saw that pre-war up Roxo Cleaner downstairs earlier, that's why. I had a really nice scene with a bunch of pre-war technology. There was an old toaster, you know. Everything was pre-war. It looked really nice, and now it's all gone. Dang it. And those are gonna... Oh, hey, look! On the top of the elevator. Nice. And there's just some empty, empty girls. Just take a moment to, you know, just... This suit's just amazing. It's got a top hat, and it just looks... It's, it reminds me of Benny's suit. New Vegas. Now, on to the roof. The roof is really cool. I've got a satellite dish. I got a ton of fireworks. So you know, if I want to set up fireworks, I can do that. Uh, you know, there's there's on each side there's a um, there's, there's artillery cannons. There's an iPod, i iPod, iBot pod, so I can set up iBots. And you know, it's just really nice because. This, this like one skyscraper is like defending the Commonwealth or the outskirts of the common of, of Boston. I'm going to do my signature, you know, fly over, check everything out from and above, get a nice overview of everything. Oh, that's a cool shape it makes. I never noticed that. Now over here, the old drive-in theater thing projector whatever that's called. I didn't really fix it up much, I just added a ton of turrets, added a nice chair where a guy can smoke his cigar at night. That's literally about it. Now, now over here, this is the storeroom. I had just completely stocked all the uh, the shelves, made it nice, made it a lot of toys, you know, bullets, food, supplies, anything that you shall need. And over here, we've just got, it's a big uh, metal door that can be opened via switch, and it's just supposed to be, you know, like an emergency exit and stuff. And this is where I cheated. There's just a million uh, turrets. This is how it had. This is why it's just so heavily defended. Now to end off the episode, I've just turned it to night again, just so you can get a nice a last view of everything at night. I think it looks really cool, especially with the office building all lit up. You know that looks cool. That you know with the uh, the shops open. That that's really cool looking right there, the Minutemen. And that's actually bringing me to my next point. You haven't seen. You haven't seen my, my uh, outfit in a while. Now, first of all, I've got this really cool Minuteman Pip-Boy. It's, you know, it's designed to the Minuteman. It's got the logo. It's got, like, a Minuteman Volt Boy from that one quest marker on the side. It's pretty nice now. Check out this. 
I added a uh, laser musket to my side. I kept the revolver because I love the revolver, and I got a reskin for the um, for the Minmen General outfit. Now it's more uh, historically accurate, I guess you can say. Uh, it just looks really, really nice. It's, it's all clean too. It's not all dirty anymore. Well, that's about it. Thanks again for watching, and tune in next time, next Saturday, for, well, that's a surprise. Thank you.